Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I am a healer and a channeler and I bring messages from spirit through movies, music, books, and also TV shows. And I'm excited and honored that you are here for a reading today. So today I will be channeling messages from movie quotes. I have actually done this a few times on my channel and very powerful messages come through movie quotes, believe it or not. And I also think it's a great way to see what the current energies are and bring through messages that you may need to hear at this moment in time. So how the reading will work in the next part of the video, you will see four different piles. Please meditate on the pile that is speaking to you and go to the timestamps that I provide down below to go directly to your reading from there. And these messages are short and sweet. Spirit wanted to get to the point, so I'm excited to see what messages come through for you. Hello to everyone who chose pile number one. I am so grateful that you are here. So let's use a random number generator. I'm gonna pull up on my phone here and see which movie quote is coming through for you with messages. We have the number six. Okay, so if I go to this article, number six movie quote is, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. And this is from the film, The Fast and Furious from 2001. All right, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. So in addition to your movie quote, Spirit has asked me to pull two cards from the Goddesses, Gods, and Guardians Oracle deck. So let's see what your two cards are right now. We have Talazol Tioto, and at the bottom it says Forgive. And the other card is Agma, watch your words. Okay, so with your movie quote, I live my life a quarter mile at a time from the fast and furious Spirit is saying it's important to slow down at this time. There's a fast-paced energy in your life right now that feels very fast and furious. And with your cards, forgive and watch your words here, I feel like Spirit is indicating the importance of not rushing your healing process of forgiveness and also slowing down with communication. This is especially true when you are angry about something. So let's break down the messages coming from each of these cards here, starting with forgive. Okay, so with forgive, spirit is reiterating the importance of processing your painful emotions from having been hurt by someone. A lot of time people state that they forgive someone, but haven't actually processed the pain that was caused. If this is the case for you, it will be apparent because you will find that you are still triggered by the person who hurt you. You will know that you have genuinely forgiven someone when you are no longer triggered by them. And this will be because you have taken time to process your triggers 
and feel your emotions. Forgiveness cannot be forced or rushed. Take your time to process your pain. And some great ways to do this are through EFT tapping and journaling. With Watch Your Words, this is referring to slowing down when it comes to your communication. Once words leave our mouths, their energy begins manifesting right away into our outer world. And spirit is not trying to tell you what to do, as we all have free will. It's just a reminder and suggestion that will help you create more of what you do want instead of what you don't. It's 100% okay to pause and think through what you want to say before actually saying it. And this can help you speak your truth in a calm manner without reacting. When we react, we are giving our power away. And there are some people who will feed off this energy because they want a reaction from us. You are here to hold the light in vibration. And speaking your truth from a place of peace will keep your power intact. Wow, okay, so those are the short and sweet messages coming from Spirit today through a movie quote and forgive and watch your words here. Thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hello to everyone who chose pile number two. I am so grateful that you are here. So let's see from the random number generator, which number on the list of 100 best movie quotes of all time is your quote and holds messages for you. So I'm gonna pull up the random number generator on my phone here and we'll see what your number is. We have the number 62. And if I go to that list, number 62 goes with the quote, I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. From the movie The Departed from 2006. I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. Okay, so... In addition to your movie quote, Spirit has also asked me to pull two cards from the Goddesses, Gods, and Guardians Oracle deck. So let's see what those cards are now. First we have... Cain, Life Force Energy. And your second card is Baba Yaga, Patience. Okay, so from your movie quote, I'm the guy who does his job, you must be the other guy. I feel a lot of you work in jobs where the workload is very unbalanced. Not everyone on your team is pulling their weight, or there are people who have been getting away with doing no work for a very long time. And I feel this is creating resentment and making the work environment fill up with a strained energy. So let's see what other messages are coming from each card here starting with life force energy. Okay, so for those of you who have not only been doing your work, but also the work of other people, 
this is draining your life force energy. Or there's some kind of difficult situation at work that is causing this drainage of your energy. Spirit is saying to ask yourself what it is that you need. Are you communicating what it is you need? Are you setting boundaries at work that align with your needs? And most of all, are you taking care of yourself by staying hydrated and nourished? I also keep hearing, well, if I don't do the work, then it won't get done. And Spirit wants you to know that it's not your problem if someone else isn't doing their job. As long as you are doing your best and communicating your boundaries, that is all that matters. And if your boundaries aren't being respected or listened to, then perhaps it's time to think about departing, as this quote came from the movie, The Departed. With the patience card here, Spirit is saying that we cannot control what other people do. So anxiously trying to push an outcome to happen will not result in the outcome you're looking for. I do feel that some managers here are working through a plan that will help balance things out. And if you are a manager who is doing this, Spirit is saying to remain patient as the process gets going and gains momentum. Results do not happen overnight. And I also feel some of you have put a lot of work and effort into something that hasn't yielded the results you want yet. Spirit is saying to keep going and have patience with yourself. It's important to enjoy all of the journey that leads to the ultimate outcome you're working towards. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. And all is well. Those are the short and sweet messages coming from a movie quote and these two amazing cards here. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hello to everyone who chose pile number three. I am so grateful that you are here. So I'm going to pull up the random number generator on my phone here and see what your number is. And then we will look at the list of 100 best movie quotes of all time to see what your movie quote is. We have the number 90. And when I go to the list here, number 90 is the movie quote. Honest to blog from the movie Juno from 2007. Honest to blog. So in addition to your movie quote, Spirit has asked me to pull two cards from the Goddesses, Gods, and Guardians Oracle deck. So let's see what those two cards are right now. Your first one is King Neptune, Sensitivity. Your next card is Sedna, There is Always Enough. Okay, so with your movie quote, Honest to Blog, I feel the energy of a lot of writers. Perhaps you even have an online blog or you could write for a website. You could also be in the process of writing a book or even a screenplay, or you might just be creating something that you're passionate about if you're not a writer. I'm drawn to the words honest from the movie quote. So I feel when you write, or even for those of you who don't write, you're very honest with your words. I also feel a very blunt energy. You are someone who gets to the point and tells it like it is. 
So let's break down the messages coming from both of these cards here, starting with sensitivity. So with this card, I'm seeing that you have received some backlash from speaking your truth or from something you wrote or created. And Spirit wants you to know that this comes with the territory of putting yourself out there. It takes courage to showcase our creativity in the world. And as long as you are communicating in a respectful way that doesn't put other people down, your honesty is creating an authentic energy that can't be denied. Also, it is okay to be sensitive. It is not a weakness. I also feel that some of you have been hurt by something someone has said. And Spirit wants you to know that there is always going to be someone who doesn't agree with you or wants to judge or criticize you. So you may as well keep doing what you love and keep giving them content to criticize. Haters are, in fact, your biggest fans. With There Is Always Enough, Spirit is bringing through a message about becoming aware of what your beliefs are about money. There is no lack in this universe, and there's plenty for everyone. If we believe there is never enough, we will continue to manifest that into our physical reality. One way to begin shifting this energy is by practicing gratitude. Doing so helps shift our focus to the things we do have instead of what we lack or think we lack. And practicing gratitude daily will help to bring even more blessings into your life when you acknowledge all the good things already present. When we are grateful for what we have, the universe always delivers more to be grateful for. Also, if you're wanting to make money from your writing, it's 100% possible. If you start practicing gratitude in advance for what has yet to show up in your life, you move that much closer to aligning with that reality. It's possible to make money doing what you love, but you must also believe it's possible with all your heart. Also, get clear on what your beliefs are about money, and if any of them are negative, flip them to positive ones. Listening to meditations about money and doing affirmations also work wonders. I also keep hearing there's no going back. So I feel that some of you have taken a leap of faith with your creativity. Trust that everything you need will be provided to you. The universe rewards courage like this. Wow. That is all that I am seeing, pile number three. Those are your short and sweet messages from the movie quote, Honest to Blog. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hello to everyone who chose pile number four. I am so grateful that you are here. So let's pull up the random number generator and see what your number is and see which number on the list of 100 best movie quotes of all time is your movie quote that has messages for you today. So I'm gonna pull this up on my phone here. Your number is the number nine. And if I pull up the list here, number nine movie quote is, I'm a fiend for mojitos from the film Miami Vice from 2006. I'm a fiend for mojitos. Okay, so in addition to your movie quote, Spirit has also asked me to pull two cards from the Goddesses, Gods, and Guardians Oracle deck. So let's see what those two cards are right now. First we have Mawulisa, Balance. Yep, 
Your second card is Epona, Earth Magic. Okay, so with your movie quote, I'm a fiend for mojitos. Spirit is showing me that you are someone who likes to have a good time. And perhaps mojitos are even some of your favorite drinks. I'm actually a wine gal myself, and I really love trying new flavors. I'm also drawn to the word vice from the movie title. And this word means immoral or wicked behavior. So I do feel some of you feel that this is a vice in your life. And Spirit is saying that there is nothing wrong with enjoying alcoholic beverages or cutting loose from time to time. But it is important to remain in control and have moderation while doing so. Now, if you are struggling with an addiction, give yourself grace if you slip up. Being hard on yourself will not help the situation, okay? So let's break down the messages coming from both of these cards here, starting with balance. So with balance, I'm feeling very strongly that difficult emotions and anxiety are coming up for you at this time. And I can see that alcohol or something similar has been used to counteract these emotions. This isn't bringing genuine balance for you, though. Emotions are meant to be felt and not held onto inside of the body. I also feel that some of you are doing shadow work right now, and this is also why the emotions are coming up so strongly. So allowing yourself to feel the painful emotions and sitting with them will help them move through you. You can even make I am statements, such as I feel anxious. This helps you acknowledge the emotion and accept that it's there, that it's a valid emotion to have, and then let it go. These difficult emotions lie within your shadow, and bringing them to the surface and filling them will help you balance both dark and light energy within you. As it's shown on the card here, as you can see on this side, we have the moon and we have the sun. So I really feel that you are balancing both light and dark energies within you by embracing your shadow. With earth magic, spirit is emphasizing to go out into nature, especially if you feel anxiety or depression. Going outside for 20 minutes will help ground your energy back into the earth. And nature is sacred medicine for our soul. We have access to it anytime we want. Let Mother Earth heal you. And if you've been wanting to let go of alcohol, going outside will help immensely when the difficult emotions arise. I'm also drawn to this crystal that she's wearing around her neck here. There are certain crystals that Spirit is saying will help bring healing to you at this time. I'm hearing amethyst, quartz, sodalite, and rose quartz. Those are some good ones that could help absorb negative energy, help bring healing, or whatever it is you're wanting help with at this time. And actually wearing them can also bring an extra layer of protection. So that is all that I am seeing, pile number four. Those are your short and sweet messages from the movie quote, I'm a fiend for mojitos. Thank you for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I love you all so much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.